What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your chest, triceps and hit cardio workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's go. Alright guys, I hope you're ready for this 40 minute workout. We've got chest, we've got triceps and we've got hit cardio intervals in between. So we're going to be building strength today and we're going to be shedding fat with those cardio hit intervals. All right, tons of different exercises today, but we're gonna be using dumbbells. I've got eight pound dumbbells with me. You can pick a level that's suitable for your fitness level, but things we're gonna be doing are chest flies, tricep kickbacks, overhead extensions. So grab a weight that you think is suitable for yourself for exercises like that. The hit cardio, no dumbbells, so just body weight on those. So adjust the dumbbell weight that you have or grab some options, okay? So we're gonna get started with a quick warm up and then we'll jump right into our first superset. Let's start with jumping jacks in three, two, one, let's go. Also make sure you have some water, a sweat towel. Gonna be getting your heart rate up and down and up and down in those cardio intervals. So make sure you're ready. Make sure you're mentally ready as well. All right, know that this workout it's all for you. It's time to spend with yourself. Three, two, one. Drop your feet out wide. Hands are out to the side. Let's twist. Open up the chest. Rotate the abs a little bit. Get them activated. Good job. Three, two, one. Stay right here. Hands out front. Let's open, cross, open, cross. When you open up, make sure your thumbs are pointed to the ceiling. And then cross your arms over, alternating the top arm. Good job. And get the chest opened up. Get it nice and warm. All right, and place your hands right on your hips. Let's bend one leg at a time. We're going to be using the legs today, but we just got cardio for those guys. Adductor, the inner thigh, activating your quads and your glutes. Three, two, and one. Take that top arm over and back, over and back. Now let's lean over, back, over. There we go. Stretching the obliques and the lats while activating this side leg, right? Got a little half lunge here, so the muscles are working. job. All right, let's bring it on back. Step it to the back of your mat. We're going to go hamstring, high kick, let it swing back, and switch. Kick, swing, switch. Kick, swing, switch. Good. That swing back will get us a little stretch in our hip flexors. Okay, keep your hips facing forward as you swing back. Kick, switch. Good job. So your first superset actually will not be both using dumbbells, okay? So I'll show you. You can stop your warm-up now. Our first exercise is going to be wide push-up walks, okay? So you can move your dumbbells for this one. You're going to start with your hands both on the mat. You're going to walk off the mat. Give me one push-up, walk back in, and walk back off. If you're modifying, just drop your knees down, okay? Let's go ahead and start in three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Out, out, push up, back onto the mat. So you've got a little rest in there when you walk back up to your mat. Back down and back out. 45 seconds here. Good. Starting off with the strength circuit. Okay, so we'll get the abs working on your push ups, right? Feel your abs holding your chest and your belly up. Should be a straight line. Down your torso, down your legs. If you're modifying with your knees down, same thing, your butt should not be in the air. Two, one, and rest. Great job. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. We've got 15 seconds. Our next one is gonna be an alternating straight arm kickback. Okay, so put your palms facing behind you. Let's go one 
in two. Here we go. So you're putting your palm up to the ceiling. There you go. You can roll your shoulders forward towards the middle of your chest just a little bit. And that'll really help isolate your tricep. That's it. Put the hand up to the sky. Left and right. Left and right. Good job. Keep alternating. You've got 15 seconds. That's it. Longer work periods on the strength circuits. Shorter on the cardio. Three, two, one, rest. All right, dumbbells down. We're back to the top of that one. You remember what's first? Wide trice or wide chest push-ups. Start with your hands on the mat. Okay, big deep breath. Make sure your core is engaged. Pop it up and let's go. Walk it off. One push-up. Back on. Back off. Abs are still tight, right? That wide stance with your arms gets you really squeezing that chest. Push into the outer edges of your hand as you come up. Feel the difference there? Good. Keep rocking with me just like that. If you're on your knees, the same thing applies. Push into the outer edge of your hands. Great job. You've got about 15 seconds. And we're done for round two of your wide push-ups. job. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. Rest. Alrighty. Straight arm kickbacks. Grab your dumbbells. You're hinging at the waist here, so I want to make sure your chest is facing the ground or your body is about at a 45 degree angle. Okay? Let's go. Left and right. You're coming back to the front right outside of your knees. Kicking, kicking. There you go. Again, your shoulders can be a little bit forward here. Keep that arm straight. If there's a problem with your shoulder mobility, you can just take that bent arm approach. Okay, if you don't want to rotate your shoulder from here back here. And make sure you're breathing as well. Great job, you've got seven seconds. Control it down, control it up, right? Rest. Okay, guys. Woo. Last round. Wide push-ups. We're back. Come on down. Let's start with your hands on the mat. Really engage your core first, right? Pull it in. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hands are out, out. Push-up. There we go. Press into the pinky finger side. Yes, there we go. your elbows go out to the side. Get to that 90 degree angle. If you can, pop up to your toes. Come on. Keep your abs tight. Push away. That's it. 10 seconds. Pop up to your toes. Try and give me just a couple. That's it. Two, one, rest. Yes. Oh yeah. Good job. Done with those wide push-ups. Again, those really target your chest, right? The front of the chest, the top part. Okay, straight arm kickbacks. Ready, bend forward. Tight abs, you're in your heels. Let's go. And squeeze the tricep when you get to the top. That's it. Sure you're breathing. You gotta get your breathing ready for this hit cardio circuit that's coming up next, right? Come on, 15 seconds. You've got it. Palms to the ceiling. That's it, that's it. Great job. And rest. Good. Okay. Take a short 50 or 30 second rest here, sorry. Grab some water, your strength circuit is done. Moving on to 
cardio circuit. Okay, so here's your first move. Four high knees, four quick high knees, jump and turn. So you got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're thinking of like a box. Okay, we're gonna go three times. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Your second exercise, hop forward, squat. Okay, so you're gonna go here, squat. Back with your feet together, squat. Feet together, okay? Let's start with your first one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it, you got 20 seconds here. Seven, six. One, two, three, four. Turn, rest. Let's step it out, okay? Your idle time for the cardio. Gonna be a little slower. Three, two, back to the four step. Let's go. One, two, three, four, turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. All right, step it out. Good job. Four, three, two. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, one. Rest. Breathe. Breathe. Here we go. Three, two, one. Last one. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on. One, two, three, four. Keep going. 10 seconds. Turn. Come on. One, two, three, four. Switch. Three, two, one. Step it out. Okay. Next one, we're gonna start feet together. Okay, we're doing the same thing. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Starting with your feet here, they're together. Jump out, half squat, back up together, okay? Two, one, let's go. Out, together, okay? Once you get that, speed it up. If you're modifying, step, squat, step back, okay? 10 seconds. Together, squat. Together, squat. Three, two, one. Let's go side, side. That's it. Here we go, back. Three, feet together. Two, one. Let's go. Down, up, down. Good work. Give me 10 seconds left here. That's it, come on. Two, one. Good, breathe. Two down, two to go. Four, three, two. Feet together, let's go. Out, up, out. Good. Just a half squat. So I want you to keep it moving on this one. 10 seconds, let's go. Two, one, great job. Let's step it out. Let's go one more round. We're almost there. Four, three, two, feet together, pop it out. Come with me. You got it. 20 seconds. There we go. Good work. Come on, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ah, amazing job. You've got 30 seconds rest, guys. Good job. We're going back to a strength circuit, okay? Hit cardio, done for now. Your next move is gonna consist of a chest fly and an overhead tricep extension. I'll show you. Whew. Heart rate is up, right? Okay, first move. Chest fly, you're starting with your palms facing each other, over your chest, coming out wide, squeezing back together, okay? When you come back together, I want you to squeeze pinkies towards each other. 
two, one, let's go. Chest fly. Round the arms out, I want the elbows to touch the floor. Unless you're on a bench, then that won't work, right? Just get your elbows parallel with the ground. That's it, with that little slight turn, angling your pinkies towards each other at the top like this, just engages your pec major just a little bit more. So the top part of that chest muscle. Great job, you've got about 20 seconds here. I'm sorry, 10 seconds. <laughs> Two, one, rest. We've got the option to stand up or stay seated for this next one. We've got overhead extensions. So one, two. Okay, we'll go in five seconds. You can stay here or you can stand up. Two, one, let's go. Bend, push, bend, push. Now I want you to keep control. Okay, by keeping this seated position, I'm not allowing my lower back to arch. Okay, if you're standing upright, pull that tummy in. Keep a straight line in your spine. Bend, keeping your biceps close to your ears. That's it. I like to do this one seated so I know that my core is engaged and I know that my back is not arching. 10 seconds, and we're gonna go back to the chest fly, okay? Great job. Three, two, one, rest. Have a seat or come on back. Stay with me for the chest fly. All right, hands over your chest. All right, when you come back up, tilt your pinkies in towards each other. Two, one, let's go. Fly, pinkies, fly, pinkies. Now this is one of those exercises where you really have to feel the squeeze by doing it Okay, you can't just go through the motion on this one and expect to feel it. Squeeze at the top like you're trying to squeeze a pencil right in between your sternum. That's it. Try not to squeeze hard on your dumbbells. Okay, put the pressure into your chest. 15 seconds. Good job. Five seconds. Good work, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, standing or seated. I'm gonna stay here so my back doesn't arch. Challenge my core a little bit more. Alternating overhead extensions. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Bend, push, bend, push. This is a time to kind of evaluate. Do I have dumbbells that are challenging me where I feel the stretch in my tricep when I bend my arm and it's a challenge to get it back up? Or am I taking it easy? Are these dumbbells too light for me? Okay, if you need some heavier dumbbells, I always link the dumbbells that I use, the brand, in the description of my video. So you guys can click that link, go to that site, and grab the dumbbell weight that you need. Okay, it's not to say I only link eight pound dumbbells. I just link the brand. Super easy to select the weight that you need. So make sure you are challenging yourself. Four, three, two, one. Great job, last round guys. Come on back. Last round of chest fly and then we're back to some cardio. Whew. Hit cardio right after this round. Here we go. Hands over your chest. Remember, squeeze a pencil right in the middle of your chest. Two, one, let's roll. Squeeze, squeeze. That's it. You can feel your chest shaking a little bit if you're really feeling that squeeze, right? I know mine is. Come on, challenge yourself. Let's go, squeeze, open, squeeze, come on. 20 seconds left. You've got time to feel that burn. Feel that shake. That's it, seven, six, Good, good, open wide, two, one, rest. All right, come on up. Overhead, alternating extensions. If your hands are cramping a little bit, I always tell my clients, flick the water, right? Take your hands on your fingernails, okay? Just get your hands open a little bit. 
here we go. Two, one, let's go. That's it, that can happen sometimes when you're squeezing a dumbbell for as long as we have been on this one. Good, there you go, right up over your head. Control it down, control it up. Keep your biceps close, right beside your ears. Don't let your elbows flare out. Not good for the shoulders. The only thing that's moving is from your elbow to your hand, your upper arm. Stretch it, extend it. You've got seven seconds, good job. Come on, three, two, one, rest. Amazing job. You've got 30 seconds to grab some water. Shake your hands out. I'm gonna show you your next cardio hit interval circuit, okay? You're over halfway through this workout. Good news there. All right. So your cardio, we're gonna start with skater lunges and then we're gonna move down to knee drive, front side and switch. Skater lunges, just like they sound. Tap over and back, go on here, here. Keep that back foot off the ground if you can. If you need to, step, step, okay? Let's start there, 20 seconds of work. Two, one, here we go. Once you get this rhythm, speed it up a little bit. So get light on your feet, use your arms. Come on, four, three, two, one, jog in place, so right here. That's it. Going back in three, in two, in one, skater lunges, let's go. Even laterally here, so you're working the legs and your core as well. That's it, eight, seven, six. Come on, three, two, one, jog it out. Good job. Start it up in two, one, skater lunges, let's go. Good. Whew. 10 seconds, come on, work, work, work. Outside your comfort zone, right? Two, one, jog it out. Give me one more time through. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, skater lunge. Go. That's it. Come on. Ten seconds. Don't stop yet. Nine, eight, seven. Push, push. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, catch a breather here. Your second exercise is the knee drive to the front, side, front, side, okay? 15 seconds, we'll start together. You're gonna go front, side, front, side. If you're modifying, take the hop out. Okay, here we go, in three, in two, in one, hop it out, go front, side, Front, side, front, side, front. Now speed it up. Two, one, rest. Butt kicks. Good job. Come on, we're going in two, one. Let's go. Front, side, front, side. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Rest, butt kicks. Two down, two to go. Good job. Four, three, two, let's go. Front, side, front, side. That's it. Let's go. 10 seconds, work it out, eight, seven, six, five, Whew. three, two, one, 
Butt kicks, we've got one more round through. Let's go. Three, two, one. Crank it out. Front, side, front, side. Open the hip up. Woo. There you go. Use your core to keep yourself straight. As your legs move out and in. Let's go in three, two, one. Rest. Amazing job. Come on down to your mat. We've got 30 seconds before our next one. Chest press in a skull crusher. Okay? If you've done a skull crusher before, you probably have an idea. All right, we're gonna have chest presses here. You're alternating one, one, two, two. Okay? Big deep breath. We're going in five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Knees are bent. If you're on a bench at home, make sure they're bent as well. Keep your legs centered, okay? So make sure you're not crossing your feet here or anything. Keep them on the ground or on the edge of your bench so you can keep your balance as you move through this chest press. Tap, tap, tap. That's it. 15 seconds, make sure your elbows are going to the side and not beside you, right? Out to the side. 10, nine, coming right back over your chest. Four, three, two, one. All right, 15 seconds rest. Watch me clicking my dumbbells together, just like this. I'm gonna lean back just a little, bend and straighten. Okay, so my elbows are about 45 degree angle. Here we go, three, Two, one, let's go. Extend, bend. You wanna to touch behind your head. Keep those elbows back so they're not directly over your chest like this. They're back just a little. Behind your head and over your head. There you go. You squeeze those dumbbells together. That activates your chest as well. Okay, good thing it's warm already. There you go, keep the elbows back, 45 degrees, 15 seconds. I know you guys feel this one, I do too. Coming right over your head and right over your forehead. Good job, five, three, two, last one, rest. Good, shake your arms out if you need to. Flick the water off your hands, remember? If your hands are cramping, mine were just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Chest press, alternating, two, one, let's go. One, one, two, two, relax your hands. Don't squeeze the crap out of your dumbbells. All you're doing is pushing the weight to the ceiling, okay? You're not trying to squeeze the dumbbell through your fingers. You're just pushing up, up, up. And the reason I know you might be doing that is because I've done it there, I've been there. I've done that before and then wondered why my hands were hurting so bad after doing bent over rows. Okay, I was not focusing on the muscle, I was focusing on squeezing the dumbbell, which is not what we want. Five seconds, think about your chest. Two, one, rest. Okay, 15 seconds. Whew, get those triceps ready. <laughs> Round two of your skull crushers. Here we go, 45 degrees with your arms, four, Three, two, let's go bend them down over your head and push. Good. That's it. Come on. Keep the elbows back just a little bit. I know it burns. Woo! Mine are on fire too. Keep them back. You're not over your chest, you're over your head. That's it, 15 seconds. Seven, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake your arms out. We've got one more round. Chest press, alternating, and your skull crushers. We're gonna finish it with some hard hit cardio to finish off this workout with a bang, okay? 
Let's go, last round. Two, one, alternating chest press, go. Last round of strength. Working those arms, you're getting your arms toned. Whew. Nice and strong upper body. Come on. That's it, you can do this. Press, press, press. I know, I'm right here with you. I know it burns. Ah, you've got 15 seconds of chest press. Come on, don't slow down yet. Push, push, push. You got 10, nine, seven. That's it, finish. Three, two, one, rest. Great job, dumbbells down. Whew. Lick the water if you need to. Okay, last round of strength. 45 seconds and you're done with strength. Here we go, dumbbells up. Three, two, elbows back and let's go. Bend, push. Got this. Keep the elbows back. You're coming forehead over your head. Forehead, top of your head. Yeah. <laughs> It burns, but it's almost over. This tricep, just to drop an, a little uh, knowledge bomb on you while your arms are on fire. Three muscles in the tricep. Okay, so if you really want to tone those upper arms, you have to work the tricep. Okay, to stop that extra swing in the bottom of your arm, you have to work the tricep. This is a great one. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, amazing. <laughs> come on up, guys. Done with your last set of strength. Whew, come up slow. All right. We're gonna finish it out with a little push-up mountain climber sprint combo. Whew. Okay. So we've got three rounds, 30, 30, 30, okay? We're gonna go push-up. Mountain climber, push up, mountain climber, okay? Your mountain climbers are gonna go two each leg, one push up. Four each leg, one push up, okay? After that, you'll have 15 seconds rest. We're gonna come up and sprint for 30, okay? Let's come on down. We're gonna start together. Listen to my voice. The push up is just one. You're increasing your mountain climbers by two each time, okay? Here we go, two. One, give me one push up. Push up, go for two. One, one, two, two. Back to a push up. Now four. One, two, three, four. One push up. Go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One push up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One push up and rest. Okay, 15 seconds rest. You're going into an all out sprint here. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do last two exercises. Push up mountain climber, and now we're sprinting. In three, two, one, work the arms, let's go. That's it. Then you can go left to right, right to left. I just want your arms and legs going fast. That's it. 15 seconds, speed it up a little more. Woo. Come on. That's it, six, five, go for four, three, two, one, breathe. Come on down. So we ended up at eight mountain climbers on the last set. We're gonna start at 10 on this one. One push up, 10 mountain climbers. Two, one, let's go. One push up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. One push up. Now we're at 12, 12, 11, 10, six, five, four, three, two, one. One push up. 14, 12, 11, 10, seven, and rest, good. Okay, so 15 seconds rest. <laughs> We're going back to our sprint. Big deep breath. 
Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. 30 second sprint. Move it side to side. If it helps, that's it. Okay, now lighter, quicker steps. 15 seconds, go, 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 go. Eight, seven, Woo, come on, come on, four, three, two, one. Okay. Woo. Come on down, we're back to 14 on your mountain climbers. We're gonna start there, get as high as we can. This is the last round. Five seconds, already back. <laughs> okay, start with one push up, ready. Let's go, one push up, 14, let's go. One, two, three, four. Nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, one push up, 16, 15, 13, 12, 10, nine, seven, five, four, three, two, one, one push up, rest. Okay, <laughs> so we ended up getting to 16 in our three rounds. Great job. Seven seconds, you're gonna sprint as hard as you can for 30 seconds. Here we go. Big deep breath. Two, one, let's go. Last round. Arms, legs, arms, legs, go, go, go. If you're modifying, march, 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 march. Come on. 15, shorter and quicker, go. Come on. 10, nine. That's it. Come on. Five, four, three, two, rest. You're completely out of breath. Be proud of yourself. You earned that out of breath. You earned all these sweat droplets pouring off of you. Take about 15 seconds. Just step it out and big deep breaths in and out. Three, two, one. Mountain climbers, just kidding. Just kidding. We're cooling it down, guys. Come on up over your head. JK, haven't pulled out a corny joke in a while. Sometimes they just come out unplanned. That was one of those times. <laughs> Not funny humor. And switch it over. Ah, great job today. So I hope you love this workout. Before you head out, let me know what you thought about it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below if you crushed it. Let me know how your chest and the triceps feel. Tomorrow we're moving down to the lower body and abs, okay? So the theme this week is splitting it up. Upper body and cardio, lower body and abs every other day. Different muscle groups each day. Okay, so it won't be the same, but just know we're splitting it between strength and abs or strength and cardio. Okay, so that's what you can expect going into tomorrow. If you're watching this on Monday, expect tomorrow to be lower body of some type and abs. So we'll cover basically what we didn't today. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right, take that arm over top of your head, bend it behind your head, and I want you to pull your elbow over. If you don't feel that enough, take your thumb, push your forearm towards your um, biceps and triceps, okay? Get that little extra push in there. I know for people that are a little more flexible, that always helps. Push your forearm towards your biceps and triceps. Reach back overhead and switch. So today was all about getting the upper body strong and really shredding it out with that cardio at the end, okay? Mixing in, of course, cardio. The one at the end definitely crushed me. <laughs> All right, just make sure in your workouts that you're having a good time with it. I know I preach, you know, self-confidence, positive thinking, consistency, but at the end of the day, you have to be enjoying what you're doing to keep coming back for more, right? I know I'm the same way. If I don't enjoy something, I'm less likely to go back and put myself through the uh, 
during my workout feeling than I am to come back to something that makes me laugh, makes me sweat, makes me smile, makes me feel good in, in my muscles and my body. And just overall, leaving a workout, I wanna feel empowered. I wanna feel like, heck yes, that was awesome. I crushed it. I know it was effective. So I'm sweating, my muscles are burning. But most importantly, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the time there. So I'm hoping I enjoy this time with you guys because I get all this engagement. I know it's just me up here by myself working out with you guys wherever you are, but I enjoy very much the engagement that you guys give me. I like this. This was fun. I overcame this today. So glad to be here. You have such a fun, positive attitude. And it's genuinely because I enjoy working out with you guys. All right? Come down forward. I've always dreamt of being able to reach people all over the world because I really think I have enough passion and enough energy to change the game for people in fitness. To give you something that you enjoy, that you come back for more. You want to come to every day. You wake up looking forward to it, whether it's in the middle of the day, in the beginning of your day, or you're looking forward to it all day at the end of your day. Okay, I want you to come back for more. I want you to enjoy it. I want this to be something you want to share with your friends. I want this to be something that you start up and you finally stick with it. You finally see results because you don't give up. And I will not give up on you guys, all right? I promise to keep coming back for you every single day. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Like the video if you liked it. Comment below. I always appreciate your feedback. It means so much to me and it keeps coming, keeps me coming back to you guys, giving you new and exciting workouts every single day. All right? Together, we officially reached over 8,000 subscribers. Whoop, whoop. I thank you guys so much for being a subscriber. If you're not and you're here watching this video, make sure you click subscribe. I leave you guys a workout every single day. So I'm gonna post the workout different types every single day. So it'll definitely be worth your subscription, okay? <laughs> so it's free, of course, anyway. So make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you take advantage of all the deals I have going on in the description of this video to celebrate 8,000 subscribers. I've got 50% off of everything on my website. That includes my 30-day transformation program with a huge nutrition program and unique workout videos and a gym workout program, as well as all my apparel. We've restocked tank tops and t-shirts and got a new red tank top design. So scroll down in the description. I won't jabber your head off. Scroll down in the description of this video. Click on my royalchange.fit website. Take advantage of 50% off everything on that site and let me know what you guys think, all right? I appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming today and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.